everybody! I'm Nasty Mold, and there's a brand new update where all of the seasonal spirits are always available, which is kind of amazing, so I'm going to be showing you where we can find all of them. Just a word of warning, you do need to have completed the game at least once. That means you have to go through Eye of Eden before you can actually collect any of these spirits. And we can only get the level 1 version of their emotes. Um, the upgrades will still come as traveling spirits. So our first one on the Isle of Dawn is just on the left-hand side here. We have a hole coming up. Inside the hole here, we have a barrier as well. For this barrier, we need three spirits from the Hidden Forest. And our first spirit is here. So this one is the Piggyback Spirit. Technically, you don't actually have to unlock this one just because you can already get level one Piggyback with your friends. But I would say it's convenient to get now just so when they come back as a traveling spirit, you don't have to recollect them. So I'm gonna speed it up a little bit just because this one's a long spirit. It's just a carry quest. We're just going down this cave. And here we are at the very end. What I would recommend for this spirit, just because it's so far in this tunnel, is to head home to the options and go back to the return shrine. And I will show you what this emote looks like with your friend. It's just a little dark in there. Let's use the return shrine, head back. Okay, so here is my friend, which is also me. And this is the piggyback emote. Da -da 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 -da. And they cover your face. Oh. All right, let's keep going for our next spirit. The next one we're gonna get is the sassy stance, which is just in the far right corner of this location. Here they are, and it's another carry quest, but this one is very easy. We just pretty much go on a straight line. I suppose it's technically a curved line. And here's the end. So this is the default stance, and this is the sassy stance. You got your hand on your hip. Every stance will give you two different sit emotes and one lay down. There's sit number one, sit number two, and lay down. Oh god, we're in the water. Okay, from here our next spirit is just in the ramp behind us. This is the welcome spirit. So this spirit we just follow, but it is kind of long. It'll take us all the way up to the temple.
And this is the end. This is what the welcome emote looks like. Oh, something happened in the background. Scary. Okay, now let's head out for our final spirit in the Isle of Dawn. We also have four in the Cave of Prophecy, which is technically in the Isle of Dawn, so never mind. We have five more. We just need a friend to come help us grab this one. Here's our buddy. So for this one, we're going to go through the cloud tunnel. And our spirit should be right at the end of this tunnel. You do have to activate a lot of stuff to get the spirit, and I'll show you how it all works. You can also just fly up if you feel like cheating. But uh, I'll show you the authentic way of unlocking it, I guess. So this here is the boogie kid. You will need a friend to help you unlock this door here. One on each side. From here we have two more stones we have to light up with a friend. Now if we collect the boogie kid here, he's just gonna fly up, which is fine. If you feel like it, you can always just leave and fly up on the outside. But again, I'm going to show you the proper way to do this. So one of you is going to have to go up on this little cliff here and light this stone. This will activate the elevator. So now the elevator's down, your friend can go on top of it. You should be able to fly onto it, but if you don't have enough time, there is a light on the elevator that your friend can light. And it'll keep it down. And now along the hall here, there is another two stones you have to light. And this opens the gate. Behind this gate we have a butterfly jar. So the butterflies are going to help us fly to the very top. All we have to do is burn the lid off. And they are free! Let me just do a big shout, which brings us all the way up. And finally we can find the boogie kid. Ta-da! Again, you can also just fly on the outside. It's, yeah. If you're alone, it's a lot easier. Although you do need someone to help you get in. And then we're just going to the very top. So here is the final spot of the boogie kid. They give us the boogie emote, which is a loop emote, so it just keeps playing. You can stand there the whole time. Oh, Nasty's falling asleep. Good night, Nasty. All right, from here we're gonna head to the Cave of Prophecy, which is just below us. Kind of by where the sassy stance was. We do have a barrier here, and to enter the barrier, we need two spirits from the hidden forest. And then we're in.
So in the cave here, we have four prophets we have to unlock. We're gonna start with the left one first. This is the water prophet. And they're gonna give us the deep breath emote. If your cave looks a little different, it's just because mine's fully upgraded. To upgrade your cave, you just have to do the quests in the middle. There's a quest giver there. And you'll get hearts from completing them. So here's the deep breath emote. And on to our next prophet. This is the prophet of earth. And this spirit will give us the dust off emote. It looks like this. Pat, pat, pat. And on to our next prophet. So the next prophet is the prophet of air. We're just headed to the left hand side again. And this spirit will give us the handstand emote. So the handstand emote is another idle emote, so it'll keep going. You can just stand there like it. But this is what it looks like here. Ta-da, so strong. I like how carefully you get down. And time for the final prophet, the prophet of fire. This one again, we're just going left. Sorry, the wind very much distracted me there.
Okay, and this spirit will give us the chest pound emote, which looks like this. And a big flex. All right, so that is all of the spirits in the Isle of Dawn. Now we're gonna head to the Daylight Prairie. So our first spirit here is the confetti spirit. They're just on top of the rock here. And we just have to find their memories. If you're collecting this spirit for the first time, they won't be gray. For me, they're gray because I've already collected it. For you, they should be bright purple and quite noticeable. I'm gonna leave this little spirit cutscene in for her because it's so cute. She just keeps shooting it. Pa. Pa. She's just having so much fun. What a cutie. All right, and now we have the confetti emote. I'll show you again what it looks like from the front. Confetti! Alright, our next spirit we're gonna find in the prairie caves. So we're just headed over here. This spirit is just on the left hand side here. And they give us the stretch or yoga emote. I believe they're doing like a sun salutation, but I'm, I don't know much about yoga. I'm just going to speed this one up again because it's kind of a long carry quest. Mostly we just have to jump up on some things or fly up. Up here and then over on that boat too. We have to jump up here. And finally, it's up here at the end. This is the final spot for the spirit. And this is what the stretch emote looks like. Cute. So now we're gonna go back the way we came. 
back towards the butterfly fields and through there towards the bird's nest area. So this location is what people call the prairie bird's nest. Our spirit here is just immediately underneath this platform. And this spirit will give us the free dance emote, which I'll show you what I mean by that once we collect it. One version of this emote is like a little spin, but the upgraded version is what we call the free dance. So here's a level one. And the upgraded one just means you can push buttons and dance however you want. Our next spirit here is just behind this tower. Now this is a friendship emote. So you don't technically have to unlock the spirit, but if you want to save time when it comes back as a traveling spirit, I would recommend doing so. This will give us the double high five. And here's what this emote looks like with a friend. Smack smack. Alright, so this is all the spirits in the main area of the prairie. Now we're going to head towards the sanctuary islands, which are just through this crack here. Little cloud tunnel. Over here we have six spirits, which were all from the season of sanctuary. Our first one is just behind this island here. This one will give us the timid stance.
let's see what this stance looks like. Here we have our default stance. There's the timid. And then we have the two sits and one lay down. My character is a little too dark. That's okay. You can get the gist of it. Plop. Okay, from here we're going to go down. And our next spirit is right in front of this cave here. This one is a carry quest and it's a little bit of a pain because there's quite a bit of crabs in here. And this spirit is going to give us the belly pat emote, which is another idle emote. Just sit there scratching your belly. On to the next spirit. Our next spirit is going to be in the cave here. This is the grateful shell collector and they give us the grateful emote. Up ahead here we have a little water slide and just be careful because there is a checkpoint halfway through it.
And this is what the gratitude emote looks like. Grateful emote. Whatever. Same word. So I'm gonna head up using this geyser. And our next spirit is the rallying thrill seeker. They give us the rally emote. And it is a huge pain. For this spirit, we have to collect all these little memories in the sky, and there's so many of them, and this area is huge. For me, they're gray. For you, they should be purple and quite visible. If you ever run out of flight, you can always use a geyser to push you back up. But this spirit is fun with friends, and that's about it. There's just so many of these. I think this is our final spirit memory, so we'll head back and unlock the rally emote. There he is. This is what it looks like. And now from here we're going to head to our next spirit, which is just underneath this bell tower area. There's a big cave on the back end of the island. And this is where we can find the jelly call. And this is what the jelly call sounds like. A lot of people call it the mosquito call because it does sort of sound like a mosquito. And for our final spirit in this area, we have the hiking grouch. This one is a little annoying as well. It's a very long carry quest. And we have to climb all the way up the mountain. Careful while flying up, make sure you have the light with you. Go nice and slow if you need to. My tip is I make sure that the ring of the light is around where I want to land before I land. Uh oh. I went too fast.
Right, and this is the grouchy emote. So grumpy. From here, we're gonna head back home, and then we'll start on the hidden forest. Spirits are a little ways in. These were both from the season of assembly. They're around this little tree house to the left here. This first spirit we're gonna do is the face palm spirit. They give us the face palm emote. And here's our final stop. This is what the face palm looks like. Oh. Our next spirit is just down here. This is the scolding student. They give us the scold emote. And here it is. Tut 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 tut. Bad bad. From here we head to our next area. I like to fly over this and then just land nice and safe. Our next spirit is also from the Season of Assembly. This is the Scaredy Cadet. They give us the Scared emote. Why are they so afraid of water? We may never know. For our next bit, we're going across here. This one is from the Season of Gratitude. It is a carry quest. So for this spirit, we're just headed down this pipe, and we have a little cross section here. We're going through the middle pipe. Careful, because below us we have some crabs.
All right, and here we are at the end. So this spirit is called the Provoking Performer. Um, it gives us an emote a lot of people call it the Karate Emote. I don't really know whether that's the actual name of it, but that's what it looks like. This one gives us the casual stance. So this one you're carrying light through a very rainy area. You have to make sure that you stop below these locations with little rooftops above them. That will help you charge the light again. So we're going to go underneath here where all that wax is. Ooh, it keeps sliding. Is it going to melt? No. Let it recharge a bit before we cross. You can see there's some little rooftops over here. Now we're going up these steps. I'm going to charge up here before heading across. And then from here we have a lot of these little rooftop mushroom things. I'm not sure what they are, but they keep us safe. Alright, so this is the casual stance, right here, it has two sit emotes, one lay down emote, let's check them out. The lay down is just face first, maybe not so casual. Now we're flying across here for our final spear in this little area. This one will give us the March emote. It is known as the Marching Adventurer. Here is the Marge emote. It is another idle emote, so it'll just keep going until you stop it. Alright, now to the next area. We have two more spirits here from the Season of Assembly up by this treehouse. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This one here is the Chuckling Scout. They give us the Chuckle Emote.
and here's what it looks like. Hehe. <laughs> For our next spirit, it's just around the bend here. This one is the Daydream Forester. I am almost out of light. They are going to give us the Daydream emote, but some people call it the Bubble emote. Now we're going to go get the Blow Kiss emote. It is one of my favorite emotes. I use it every single day. It's amazing. This one is a carry quest, but it's not really hard at all. If you're feeling uncomfortable, you can always just build up the bridge. That way you're covered for most of it. And this is the blow kiss emote. Mama, 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 mama. All right, now we have one last spirit. It's in the sunny forest here. This area is blocked by a barrier. To enter the barrier, you need eight spirits from the hidden forest. So you have to collect all of the base game spirits here. Here, we're headed to the right hand side into the middle of a tree. This is the passage to the underground forest. So you need two friends with the stomp emote. You can break through the bottom there. And now we're in. For this spirit, you do need a friend to help you or someone to help you unlock a gate. The spirit can be found right on the right hand side here. And this spirit gives us the head pat friendship emote. Again, you don't really have to unlock the spirit, but it might be beneficial to you when the traveling spirit comes again. From here, we're headed to the gate, which is right ahead of us. There's a bunch of darkness covering the stone slab, but you just need someone to help light that. And it should open the gate. So I'm gonna get my sweet, sweet friend here, who's just me, to open the gate for me. What's weird about this is there's like a spirit memory gate, so it kind of looks like it's still closed, you know? Very strange. And then we just keep going through here. You should be able to get through this gate by yourself. It's a very slow gate.
Once we're in here, we just do a big shout and the butterflies will bring us mostly up. They don't actually bring you all the way. So you do have to fly a little bit. And here's the head pat spirit. This is what the head pat emote looks like with your friend. Pat, 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 pat. And that is all the spirits in the hidden forest. So we're about halfway done now. We're just going to head home and head towards the Valley of Triumph. Here we are in the valley. We have three spirits around the ice rink, so we're going to head down there. Our first one is just towards the left hand side here. This spirit is going to give us the twirl emote. So we just have to run around the rink here, following him. He jumps extremely high, so you're going to have to fly sometimes. All right, so this here is the twirl emote. Wow. From here, we're gonna head over towards the cave. And this is where we can find the juggle spirit. We are at the end, and let's juggle. At this point, I like to go home and use the return shrine because I'm very lazy, but I happen to have, oh, a friend who's underwater. And they're gonna help me unlock the next spirit, which is behind a two-person door. For some reason, this spirit is not a spirit for me, it's just a ball. But this is the leap spirit. It'll give us the leap emote, which is the most satisfying emote to spam, if you're into that, of course.
Once you're done collecting all the spirit memories, we're just going to go behind the door and unlock that spirit. This is what the leap emote looks like. From here, our next spirit is at the very end of the race in the temple, so we're going to go do that. In the temple, just directly towards the left, we have a barrier with a spirit behind it. This spirit is the sparkler parent to give us the sparkler emote. And it's, once again, a pretty long carry quest. careful because there are some crabs Now, here we are in the end stretch. We actually just have to jump down here. But there's a smaller ledge below us it's going to land on. There. And this is the final checkpoint. This is what the sparkler emote looks like. The upgraded version is similar to the free dance in that you can move it however you want. Our next spirits are all in the Village of Dreams. So we're going to head over there by going back into the Colosseum and flying up towards the statue. We do have a barrier blocking the way. To go through this barrier, we need some spirits from the Golden Wasteland. Now, our first spirit we're going to collect is the Bear Hug Yeti. I'm just going to charge my wings really quick. And they're just below us in between these two houses here. This is another carry quest. It's not super hard, but is a little long. At this point, it looks like our Yeti checkpoint is right here, and it always confuses me, but it's actually up ahead as so we go through this cave.
from here we have to jump off the ledge. All right, and this spirit gives us the bear hug friendship emote. I'll show you what it looks like in one second. Big squeeze. All right, our next spirit is back down towards the town. Right next towards the skating rink. So this is the spinning mentor, and they give us the spin emote. Okay, now let's see what that emote looks like. Wow. It's another idle emote too, so you can just keep spinning. Our next spirit is right behind this house here. This is the peaking postman. And they give us the peak emote, which is probably one of the cutest emotes in the game. Let's take a look at what the emote looks like. Hmm? So shy. Now for our final spirit in the Valley of Triumph. This one will be the dancing performer. And they give us the shimmy expression. So we have to go up here. And they're just on the right hand side. And this is what the expression looks like. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's all the seasonal spirits from the Valley of Triumph. We're gonna head home and work on the Golden Wasteland next. All right, so our first stop is gonna be to go to the Forgotten Ark where we'll get all of the Season of Enchantment spirits. If you're unfamiliar with the Forgotten Ark, it's just towards the right-hand side of the first area of Wasteland. There's a dock at the end of this area. And all we have to do is sit down at it. The Forgotten Ark also has a bunch of quests we can do that will give us hearts. 
And we can upgrade the area. It's actually really, really cool. So I've skipped ahead. Now we're in here. There's the Ark. If yours looks different, it's just because you have to do those quests. So our first spirit is right in the front here. It'll be just the left side of the Ark. Uh, you may not have this sort of entrance next to it, and that's okay. Most of the spirits in the Wasteland are carry spirits, which is a total pain because there's so many krill and crabs in the area. A lot of these spirits are like hard mode. Okay, so this spirit gives us the sleepy emote. It looks like this. And now for our next spirit, it's just the opposite side of the arc. This is the nodding muralist. And they give us the nod emote. Another carry quest. We are at the end, and here is the nod expression. From here, we're just going to the caves right behind us. This is where we'll find the crab walker, who will give us the crab walk emote. This one's a nice break because we just have to collect the spirit memories. I usually just go along the right hand side. I find it a little easier, a little less confusing. At each of these spirit memories, I believe there's a crab, so just be careful. Here is the crab walk expression. It is an idle emote, so you can keep doing it. I love this one. So good. For our next spirits, we're going to go towards the farmland on the far end of the map. Here we have the scarecrow farmer. They give us the scare expression.
And the scare expression looks like this. It's another one that's really fun to spam as well. It's so noisy and crazy. Our next spirit is just on the ridge here. This one is the indifferent alchemist. And they give us the shrug expression. And here is what the shrug looks like. I, don't know. I really struggled to find that one. Now we have one more spirit, and this one is a friendship emote, so it's not necessary to collect, but for your ease, when a traveling spirit arrives, you may want to collect it in advance. This is the Play Fight Herbalist, and it will give us the Play Fight Friendship Emote. And that emote with a friend looks like this. So mean. So at this point we're gonna head back home and then go back through the portal. Our spirit is just in the next area. In this area we do have a krill patrolling around, so I will add my guide to avoiding krill attacks in the description if you need that. You can get sighted very easily here. So this one is the saluting protector and they give us the salute emote.
And here we are at the very end. So this is what the salute emote looks like. And on to our next spirit. So the next one is very hard. Don't be discouraged if you lose the spirit a lot because it does happen. It happened to me while recording this. Sometimes the crabs just come at you out of nowhere and they just destroy you. But down here, we have the Pleaful Parent. We also have this cool crab spit here. So be sure to charge up. This spirit will give us the don't go expression. And like I said, it's very challenging. There's so many krill, there's so many crabs in this area. And you have to travel a long way and back. So just be careful, look out for where the krill are. I know I'm going a little crazy guns a blazing, but I'm just gonna use the shop trick if krill spots me. Uh-oh. Alright, so at this point is when I struggle the most. I don't really have much of an issue with the krill, but I have some serious problems with the crabs. My recommendation is to deep call while they're far away, and then they'll slowly run towards you and you can avoid them. If you do it too close, they're gonna just ram right into you. Sometimes they'll flip, but sometimes it'll just aggro them towards you. They're kind of unpredictable that way. Get out of here. You're not scaring anyone. Finally, we've made it to the very end. This is the don't go expression. No. From here, we're headed across the map. And we're gonna be finding the respectful pianist who gives us the respect emote. He's hiding in this little bone cave thing here. For some reason, it's not letting me light him. But we're just walking all the way up here. It's best to wait until that krill passes, and then you should be safe. We're just going straight up until we get to the little mountain ahead. Oh 
Okay. Scary. It's best if you leave these little darkness plants lit. Oh, lit, I said. Ah! And, uh... They're a little bit slippery. No! Come on. Alright, I guess we're gonna fly individually onto each one. For safety. And here is our final checkpoint. This here is the respect emote. Bomb. And from here we're headed back towards where that crab spit roast was. Through the barrier into the shipwreck. You can see this little yellowy door here. We need one spirit from the Golden Wasteland to get through, and we should have that by now. And behind us is the Crab Call emote. This spirit is called the Crab Whisperer, and again, it's another long and somewhat hard carry quest. There are a lot of crabs here, and there is a krill here, so make sure you call ahead of time so they can slowly run at you and you can avoid them. And here we are at the very end. This is what the crab call sounds like. It's so squeaky. And this is our final spirit for the Golden Wasteland. So now we're going to head home. And we will check out the Vault of Knowledge, collect all the spirits there. So from here, my first stop is to open up the archive, which is this gate here. 
you don't need a friend, but sometimes it does bug out a little bit. This is the wise grandparent, and they give us the wise stance. All we do is go through the archives. It's not a very difficult quest, but there are some crabs underneath us in the lower levels. Let's check out the wise stance. I think it's my favorite stance. You put your arms behind your back. So confident. And we have the two sits and one lay down. Sit number one. Sit number two. And sit number three. Lay down, I mean. Sassy. Now from here, we're gonna go back out. And on the first floor, where we are, we have to enter that four player door. So to enter this door, you need the telekinesis expression from the second floor. And you need three other players to help you open. So it is a four player door. Thankfully, I had a friend join. Thank you so much, Nino. This spirit on the right hand side is the thoughtful director and they give us the think expression. It's another carry quest and it's very easy, but it's pretty long. And here's the very end on this ledge. And this is the think expression. Okay, now we're gonna go back towards the elevator. And for our next two spirits, we have to go to the fourth floor. So I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. I'll see you there. Here we are, uh, so our first stop is these moving platforms. It looks like they're already using the spirit, so we're just gonna wait for it to reset. And this spirit is the greeting shaman, and it gives us the greeting expression. So if you don't have a lot of wings, you can always just ride the platforms, they'll eventually make their way around. What I would recommend doing if you have wings is just fly, and then you can charge on that stack of candles there. Oop. 
I'm out. So I'm gonna go charge on the candles. And it charges super fast. And that's the end. So this is the greeting expression. And now we're headed to our final seasonal spirit, which is just over here by the Manta Bones. This spirit is the Shushing Light Scholar, and they give us the shush expression. Again, a very long carry quest and somewhat difficult. You can definitely drop the light ah, very easily. Just be very careful. I recommend waiting until you can see the rim of the light around the platform. Then it's safe to jump to. Though sometimes I get a little carried away and do a second jump. And here we are with our final seasonal spirit. Now we have every spirit in the game. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.